the mana potion there, I believe. And so, um, yeah, there's that um, lava spawn there. And uh, wow, just so much damage. 32 to 56 damage, but it just gets dispelled immediately. And uh, actually, um, that Mount King, um, unable to cast bolts for a second there. But uh, this uh, lava spawn will be chased back and actually does go down. So nice free experience on both sides here in terms of summons. I think um, Axav, actually, if he could retrain, that would be nice. But even then, the Fire Lord without lava spawns doesn't really have any useful skills. So, um,. It looks like uh, the, these um, priests will be uh, chased away, and uh, uh, they really are doing a great job. I think uh, Shadox needs to make a bit of a transition to Breakers now, uh, because of all these fiends. There's now um, five fiends as, as well as two statues, so actually I'm not sure that second statue is strictly necessary for mana, just because that Fire Lord doesn't really need mana any anymore. He, all he can really do is cast Soulburn, and that's not uh, hugely useful. And I think um, putting it in statue form would be better. Axav does bring out a level spawn, but you can see it's immediately dispelled. And that dispelling actually gives the Mount King level 3 as well. So um, I guess it's worth a try, but just it's it's so tricky to do. And Axav actually taking a lot of damage down on his Fire Lord. Does need to keep it out of here. And it um, uh, looks like um, Axav's going to need to be um, uh, sort of being, playing pretty safely now. Actually, this one um, priest in the back getting healed up and not actually going down. I think uh, Max having very much on the defense. It has to go on the defensive now. This Mount King doesn't have enough. Yeah, Mount King has enough mana for almost two bolts if he wants to go for it. He can, or he goes for one immediately, and that one fiend's gonna go down. It looks like he's a bit too far behind to chase down any more fiends. Uh, actually, that Mount King should probably buy some boots, even though he's uh, it's um, pretty late in the game. Boots on a Mount King against um, fiends with no um, aura would just be so useful because you could just. Ch constantly be chasing them down and there really would be not much Axlab could do about it and uh, meanwhile Shadax could be doing some creeping here uh, maybe putting up an expansion although it looks like he's just got his uh, actual economy back on track he still only has three on lumber so I think he'd be, uh, be best just to hold off for now at least and uh, one turn of strength here actually which, which um, looks like wasn't picked up by either side um, and uh, this Fire Lord now coming in has bought a uh, TP now, so you can probably go for a bit more aggressive play. Maybe he can move even into the back of the base, uh, just so it's a lot harder for uh, Shadox to attack him, and he's in a much better position. Looks like that's what he's going to be doing here. And uh, f actually, uh, finally, a breaker transition has been made. Actually, I didn't think he... Oh, yeah, he does have a shop. Sorry, I was looking right at it. Um, I was thinking that he couldn't have gone breakers, but he did actually have a shop just built in his base for uh, better defense. And it uh, looks like actually a um, Zeppelin coming out now for Axav as well. That's going to be really useful for that uh, for that um, Fire Lord, just because it means that he'll be able to get out of the tricky battles, and there's really not a whole lot that um, Shadok can do about it. And actually using that statue, or that, that Zeppelin to good effect to pick up the statues, and uh, one Fiend actually, with one of the statues was really low, and actually will be needed to heal up by Acolytes, because there's no aura obviously to um, heal it. And so, uh, uh, I, or maybe he's not going to, but it looks like um, I'm not sure what Axe I'm doing with the statue. Uh, actually, he's going to send that one statue back, and he's going to use the re put the rest in the zeppelin, and uh, maybe go for some harassment. Maybe drop right in the back of the base somewhere so he can get a really nice attack off. And uh, looks like um, uh, Shadok won't actually notice this. He'll go. Um, a he's a bit too wide, but actually he will notice it with this one sprawl breaker. But it looks like he thinks this is an empty zeppelin or something. And uh, meanwhile, get doing some very nice creeping here. Shadox is, and actually has a um, oh, excuse me, has a wand of illusion, as, and hasn't used those sentry wards either. I think those sentry wards would have been quite useful. Uh, let's see how much axi damage Axive can do before he actually has to. Uh, before he's chased away, dropping one fiend immediately, and there goes the rest of them now. And I think um, Shadox would be best just to run his um, or turn his peasants into militia form, and then run out, run out of here until his uh, the rest of his army arrives. Because as, as it is, he's just going to lose these. And you can see actually, he just um, formed a bit of a distraction with two of them while getting the rest of them out of here. And it looks like uh, Shadox does have to run back in because I know he has his TP. And so um, yeah, he has a quite nice uh, combination of units actually, uh, lots of priests and lots of breakers as well. Uh, obviously, Sorkton could be too useful just because there's a threat of um, Destros at any point, and uh, cons especially considering there's three statues here, uh, you really got to think the Destros are coming, and that would actually be really, really useful against those water elementals as well. And uh, actually, I'm not actually uh, in the best of positions here. Get turn turns one into a destroyer for uh, destroyer now though, and so we'll be able to go a bit more on the offensive. <laughs> this, uh, uh, but it looks like Axav just completely outmanned here. Uh, the breaker is getting a really nice position here on his units, and uh, actually. Uh, Axav losing a lava spawn and a fiend just before the TP uh, goes off. So, um, Shadok's doing a really nice job in this game, just managing to stay in it for a bit longer. And Axav actually getting pretty close to 6 now on his um, Fire Lord, finally picking up an orb. That's really nice. I really like the orb on the Fire Lord. Uh, it means that you can't use Incinerate, but I don't think that was something that Axav had skilled anyways. Actually, no, because he had, he had skilled Soulburn. So, um, 
it's not a it's uh, not a problem and that fire lord with an orb combined with all the um veins and actually the destros as well it's gonna do so much damage uh you can focus down so nicely and axe up going for a second slaughterhouse now uh he did actually buy a shredder which um it's a bit of an unusual choice for an undead but i guess it isn't uh, too unreasonable and that you don't cost a like, huge amount of gold they cost a uh, hundred lumber but uh obviously you get your lumber back quite quickly and uh, for only four food it's the equivalent of two um ghouls so it's not um crazy to do that and it looks like oh we are going to be seeing a bunch of creeping here from Shadox. If he gets five on his on his Mount King, that'd be really nice. Uh, actually, he has a greater Invuln pod as well, and he does have a TP now, so he can respond to any threat. And it looks like actually a couple Destros just being brought in by Axlov. This is a really nice choice here because there's really nothing that uh, Shadox can do to actually stop this. I mean, you can chase them away temporarily, but they can just come back. There's no way you can bolt them. Uh, if he got if he went to tier three and got an orb for his Mount King, then he could get it hope and um, you can get bash and hope for some luck but uh, as it is there's really just nothing you can do about it even bringing up water elementals will just be immediately dispelled so um, quite nice play here by Axav just going to be able to take down a whole bunch of these militia in conjunction with a couple of ghouls which have now come in as well and um uh, meanwhile, we are seeing some creeping here by this um, Mountain King, who's getting pretty close to 5, and as I say, 5 is just going to be so important, because that's uh, just so much damage coming up from your Mountain King, and especially against a hero that has so few hit points. Uh, the um, uh, Fire Lord, despite being level 6 now, uh, it does only have 750 hit points, and there are sort of level 1 heroes which have 750 hit points. He does have 6 armor, but as I say, not too important. And now uh, this um, Fire Lord now actually getting focused down a bit will be forced to run away. It looks like the uh, Destro is just going to stay a bit longer, try and put a bit of damage onto the Mount King. And uh, I think we will need to see Axlav get out of here. And I wonder if we're going to see Volcano actually from Axlav. I've, I've made a couple of Volcano jokes, jokes in my last um, uh, Fire Lord vid uh, video, so I won't make any this time. But it looks like uh, Maxav is uh, doing just uh, some harassment with his uh, with his uh, destroyers, which is just such an obnoxious unit. There's absolutely nothing really that can be done about them. Obviously, you can just micro them away if any one of them gets low. But obviously, the breakers can't attack them, the priests can't attack them, and mountain can can't attack them. It's literally only the archmage and then briefly water elementals that can attack these things. And so uh, Maxav really has a very strong uh, position here. And Shadox knows that he needs to actually get into a position where he can attack. And uh, this is actually, uh, despite being an undead, but in, within an undead base, that this actually isn't a terrible position for Shadox. He can get a couple kills off, maybe a fiends. Although it looks like he's actually going for that um, Fire Lord now. Uh, the um, Soul Burn being used on that Mount King, meaning he, he can't bolt quite yet. But there, the bolt goes there, and uh, this um, Fire Lord being chased down now, and uh, really in a lot of trouble. No TP, no healing potion, and it looks like he's trying to get to his shop. And he actually he does manage to get to his shop, but it looks like he's just going to go for the run instead. And uh, yeah, he's actually just going to try and run away and. Um, ooh, well, Zeppelin actually would be quite nice, uh, just uh, reading the suggestion there from uh, Cruncher, but uh, looks like he actually he's just going to sort of run for it rather than uh, anything else. And uh, I have now um, two zero upgrades on those destroyers as well, going to try and be getting out of here, and, and that Mount King is just too far away. If he had that bolt, that'd be really nice. There's a uh, Mount King, looks like, um, I'm not sure if he's just going to try and cut him off, but I will probably go buy a TP or maybe an invisibility potion or an invulnerability potion. No, invisibility potion, and will there be a lucky dispel? No, it looks like um, Shadok isn't going to try and just dispel midair, hoping that that's where the um, Fire Lord is actually getting some hits off because of a Sentry Ward that's being put down. Really nicely played there by Shadox. And uh, now Axel going to take a lot of damage on his units. And this um, one Shredder is going to go down. It's always a shame when you lose a Shredder. And um, me and Axel are going to be able to take down a couple Priests though and then going to switch focus to the Archmage. Although probably the Mount King would be a better choice. Yeah, he's refocusing to the Mount King now. Who does have a TP, but he's not going to come to that. And... Oh, uh, looks like Axav uh, still invisible. Gonna need to um, heal up somehow. Actually, getting into Zeppelin by the looks of things. Oh no, Zeppelin's just passing by. And uh, 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 Shadow's con continuing to pr produce priests here. And it uh, looks like uh, uh, the Archmage uh, will go back. Maybe um, uh, try and chase away these. Uh, these destroyers, but there's so little you can do about them. Really, really nice harassment there by Axav, and um, these destroyers all just sort of get out of here. Obviously, do through upgrades, uh, even though destroyers have really low DPS uh, when they don't have any mana. Uh, the two zero upgrades and four of them is still more than enough to do a hell of a lot of damage to a gold line or something like that. And uh, Axav actually now repairing the Zeppelin, and uh, it looks like uh, he's going to try and heal up this Fire Lord. Although actually, he's now running it out. That's a really odd choice. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe he's going to creep out this camp only to find that it's mostly crept out. Um, I don't know, actually, Axaf now going for uh, Abominations. A uh, very nice choice against those against those um, breakers. And then obviously he has the Z Club as well, which is going to be pretty nice against those priests. And uh, three um, fake uh, uh, Mountain Kings being built now, probably going to be used just to go out and scout. And uh, what items do we have here? Uh, actually, it looks like um, it was just that. 
uh, Wand of Illusion, and uh, I wonder what happened to the other Wand of Illusion. Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe he sold it or something, or maybe it was a Lightning Shield or something he sold. And next, I'm actually going for an expansion now. These gold mines do have 20,000 gold in them, bear in mind. That's an awful lot, and looks like this is immediately going to be so he added really bad luck here for Axel, and uh, that could cost him the game, really. Uh, depending on, I, I think this game is going to come down to whether or not Axev can keep his Fire Lord alive, what he can actually do with it. Um, maybe if he brought his Fire Lord with the Zeppelin into the back of this base and uh, just did some harassment, even volcano harassment would be awesome, but Shadox has put down so many towers now, I don't think that that's going to be a possibility anymore. Uh, uh, Axav now on the run with his um, Fire Lord in the Zeppelin, and uh, that's going to leave his entire army isolated. He has just gone for the solo Fire Lord, which is such a risky move, and uh, he is now going to get back into this battle. He is now actually going to do a lot of um, damage to this Archmage, and he's going to have to pop back into the Zeppelin, because he just can't take the focus from the Breakers and the um, uh, Mount King, who is, who is actually invisible, just so he can get that opportunistic bolt off on that uh, Fire Lord. But it looks like Axav is going to play it very safe and going to try and stay out of this battle. Uh, and there's, um, these are low units now being chased away now, and uh, unfortunately, 